Hi guys, so in this video we're going to look at doing the clip connector bit of the bike light. Um, I'm just going to start here by looking at the front view. Um, you can see that we've got this kind of silhouette with some cutouts. Uh, looking here on our side view you can see that that's made up of a number of cylinders and some flat squares. So I'm going to go ahead and start by blocking this in just with some primitive shapes. I'll start with the rectangular prism. I'm just going to estimate that. That being about that big. Okay, and the width I'm going to get from this image just here. Okay, that looks a little bit narrow. So I'm just going to go ahead and select that. I'll press solid, solid edit tools, turn on points. Now I'll just move these points down. And if you notice I lassoed those to select them all. Okay. You notice that the front and side views don't quite match up, that's okay. Alright. So start off with that piece, you notice it's only half. Um, that's okay. I'm gonna model just half then mirror it across. Alright, so the next piece I'm gonna block in is this tube. Now to do that we just want to grab the tube tool. Um, again I'm just going to block that in roughly. That looks pretty good. Okay and for the thickness I'm just going to pull out to here. Okay. I'll move that into position. Needs to be a little bit bigger, so I'll just scale that up. Mm, that looks okay. Okay, that looks good. Just checking in my right view. I think it's scaled a little bit off-center here. Uh, so what I'm going to go ahead and do... You can see here, because I scaled it, it's moved. So I'm just going to move that back onto the center line. That's something to be careful of. Just using my grid snaps there to get it onto the center line. Then I'll move it back into position. Just here. Okay, so we've got our first two parts. Um, our next couple, the next big part is going to be this shape here. That's just a flat uh, rectangular shape. So I'm going to go ahead and model that. I'm just going to block in a rectangular prism again, this time just nice and big so it covers that whole area. Um, so maybe something like this. And the thickness will be determined by this view. Oops, I didn't start that on the center line. That's okay, I'll just move it. I guess it's about that thick. Okay, and I'll move that in to the center line. Again, I'm just going to snap to this corner, snap that to the grid. Okay. Now it's in position. So that's intersecting our cylinder. Okay. Now the first thing, next thing we want to do is cut out this portion of the plane so we don't have anything in there. So to do that, I'm just going to do a Boolean operation. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is just copy this cylinder to my clipboard. Okay, so I'll grab this cylinder here, the tube, sorry. I'm going to copy it by hitting Edit and Copy. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do a Boolean in, uh, difference. So I'm going to select from the cube, the rectangle. I'm going to select... Uh, remove this and I hit enter. And you can see now it's removed the tube and I can go ahead and delete this portion I don't need. Um, obviously we don't have the tube anymore that's why I copied it to my clipboard so now I can just hit edit paste and it'll come back. There you go. Um, okay. Two more cutouts we need. We need a cutout just here and a cutout just here. Uh, to do this front one I'll just create a cylinder um, that's roughly the right shape. Um, that looks good to me. There you go. 
And you can see I've just made that so it intersects here and here. And we'll go ahead and do a Boolean difference. So Boolean difference, subtract from, press enter, subtract with, press enter. Okay, so we're left with this little bit. We can delete that. Front bit is complete. Now I can try the back bit now. Uh, I'll do a cylinder again. That would be nice and big. Okay, and make it nice and wide as well. There we go. Now I can just try and move that into position. And if you notice, it's not quite right. So I'm going to just squash this down a bit. So to do that, I'm going to use a scale 1D command. I'll just start here on the quad, which is the end. Um, my second reference will just be straight up. And I'll just squash the whole thing down till it looks a bit better. Okay, that looks good. I'm going to leave it at that. Again, making sure it fully intersects my original rectangular prism. Um, you guys can do a more accurate job if you'd like. I'm going to go ahead and Boolean difference. Body to subtract from is going to be this. Body to subtract with will be this. Okay. And you can see now we're left with that shape. Okay. Um, at this stage, I'm going to go ahead um, and create the bottom. Um, so here you'll notice that there is two cylinders between that gap here. Okay. And there's also a slot through the whole thing. So I'm going to do this in a couple of steps. To make those cylinders, I'm going to do them in the top view. Um, I'm just going to draw just on the center line somewhere. So I'll grid snap to make sure I'm centered. And I'm just going to roughly draw a cylinder a shape that kind of, you know, looks correct. Uh, that looks pretty close. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and move that into position roughly. We'll say somewhere like that. Now that looks a little big. So I'm just going to use a scale command and just scale this down a bit. That looks pretty good. That looks okay. I'll just align the bottom here and the right. Just taking care not to overlap just there. Okay. Uh, I'll check that in my perspective view. See that I'm positioned correctly. That looks good. Okay. Can we go ahead and copy and paste this? Control C V and bring it up. Okay, you notice here that I'm kicking out a little bit, that's okay. Alright, there we go. Yeah, here I'm overlapping on purpose. Um Okay. So the last thing we'll do here is Boolean union the whole lot together. So I'm just going to go ahead and select everything there. I'm going to hit Boolean union. Okay. And if everything is all good, we can just have a look in our ghosted view and see that all those interior surfaces have been deleted. Um, you will notice this isn't quite correct. I do need to go ahead and just trim off this area here that's overlapped over the center line. Um, so I'll just, with a grid snap, actually no, I'll actually undo that union and do it beforehand, makes life easier. I'll just go ahead and draw a straight line. With that line I'll hit trim and I'll just sorry, hit trim. Okay. You can see here now we've got a nice flat surface. The last thing I need to do here is just cap these with a cap command. So they have a closed oops, cap surface here. Um, remember you have to have closed surfaces for the Boolean union to work. Alright, so now I'm going to join these together with a union. We can see that that's been successful. 
Um, if you notice these double faces here, which can look a bit funny, um, you can get rid of those with the merge face command. Okay. And you just need to click on any planar face and it's going to... So any flat face in the same region will merge together. So I'm just right clicking here. Click one, click two, done. Right click to get back in the tool. One, two, one, two. Right click, one, two. And last one, right click to get back into it. One, two. Do another one here. It's looking nice and neat. Um, if you're pedantic like me, it, it helps keep your model look nice and clean. Okay, nearly there. We need to clean up this area through here. So if you notice in the uh, elevations, there's a gap through here. Now I haven't done this uh, quite messily on purpose. Um, what I'm going to go ahead and do is just draw a rectangular prism here um, that I think is a good width. So in this case, I'm going to draw it like this big. Okay. And go ahead and extrude that out so it overlaps with everything just like this and I'm going to go ahead and boolean difference that so you can see I've created a cutting tool here that goes through everything and that'll give me a nice clean line when I boolean difference start here and there you go now I've got a nice clean joint through there uh, last step is to create our ellipsoids down here. Uh, so to do that, we want to create an ellipsoid. Uh, we'll start roughly in the center point and draw out, and then out, and the last axis will be something like that. And that looks good to me. Again, we'll just need to trim this back. Just straight lines through there. Um, hit trim, and we can trim that. Okay, hit cap to make sure that that gets a cap on it. Okay. And you're just about done. That can stay like that. Um, I'm going to add a little little piece on here, just a little screw, because that's what it's meant to be. It's just not in the drawing. Uh, I'll try to get a center uh, snap on that. Failing that, I'll just draw a line. No, it's not coming. Oh, there it was. Sen, that's what we're looking for. Sen, thank you. Um, again, um, to get that snap, sometimes you just disable the other ones. Um, so I've just got center clicked here. Okay. Um, notice how that tube's going both ways. I just need to unclick both sides here. There we go. Okay. Now that's got a little screw. And I might like Boolean Union. Actually, I'll leave those two separate. Okay. So we're just about there. Last step, we need to mirror this across. So to do that, I'm just going to select it, type mirror. I'll use, put my object snaps back on. But we're normally going about the center line, so I don't actually need to use them. I just need to draw a straight line straight up. So I'll start at zero and draw a straight line up. Okay. And you'll see here that that's mirrored across now. And the last thing I need to do is go ahead and Boolean that together. Okay. That's worked. And we'll have a look at what we've left with. It's this kind of shape here. It's a good starting point for you guys to customize your own torch. Okay. Um, you see it's pretty simple. It's just made up of some cylinders and uh, tubes. It just looks more complicated than it is. Alright, thank you guys very much.